Better look back at the bad. <laughs> Nigga, I gotta be safe. Gotcha, Let's get to sports talk. So what comes with that? Well, they're not gonna be number one for long because last night they were beaten by the Evansville Purple Aces. Long live the Purple Aces of Evansville. Jalen, my question for you is this. If I'm John Kyle Perry, I'm not too mad at this. I think getting upset early in the season like this can actually help you long term. I think it helps long term. I have to give a shout out to somebody I played against in college and in the league. Former Kentucky assistant and my best Tommy Heinz in voice, Walter. Walter. McCarthy. He did a great job of having those guys ready. Mm -hmm. And for those Midwesterners like myself, Indiana and Kentucky have a basketball rival. Yep. Okay. And for somebody that lived in Indiana for six years, in 49 states, it's just basketball. It's everything in Indiana. You ride down the street, everybody has a basketball hoop. Same in Kentucky. So those kids that play for that team understand the magnitude of, wow, we're going against Kentucky, playing on the big stage. And, by the way, this wasn't like a buzzer beater type of beat win. It was close. No. Yeah. They were winning the whole game. Oh, yeah. They're out playing them the whole game and out, out hustling them Correct. the whole game. It wasn't like, oh, they just had a big time run and won the game. Like, they just beat them the whole game. So it was a terrific roll win, and I want to get an Aces credit. For, for, yo, here's the thing. What I love about that, sometimes you're playing the number one team in the country and you might be a little scared. You know what I mean? But they're playing the number one team in the country. They saw it as an opportunity, and that's the difference. And big shout to Walter for getting them ready to play. Jalen, I felt bad for James Wiseman last night. There was so much focus on him. He became a national story that was about court cases and eligibility and the NCAA and amateurism and... He played last night in a game on national TV, on our air, against two ranked teams. And at the start of the game, he got into foul trouble. So what ends up happening is he starts the game looking, offensive foul there, and then he gets a little foul trouble. Scores. But that was terrible. call, by the way. And um, we got all that media attention on you, and you just want to play basketball, help your team win games. And then you got everyone just constantly in your ear asking you about what Penny Hardaway did for you and all that. Like, you can't focus on the game. That's what he cut. He couldn't focus. And it's, it's throwing him off as soon as he played. Like, he got too, too much foul trouble. He can't really focus because the media just asking him all these questions going off the court, and he can't focus on the court like that. score in the first half and I started to be like oh man maybe all this pressure is getting to him but he turned around the second half he looked pretty good Memphis did not win but what did you think about Wiseman last night the one thing I could continue to state about Wiseman how the University of Memphis and their head coach Penny Hardaway are doing the unthinkable and that's thumbing their nose at the NCAA mm -hmm. usually when somebody's under investigation outwardly you sit the player yep they're doing the exact opposite. We're going to play him. Regardless of what your, you guys' findings are, we'll deal with that then. And as I think back at the landscape of collegiate basketball, a lot of times it happens in reverse where UMass is under investigation and all of a sudden they take the banners down later. Yep. Or it happened to Cal at Memphis and then you take the banners down later. They're concurrently doing it, understanding that if the findings happen, that these games are basically going to be ruled in there, there was a restraining order, you know, put out by a judge who happened to go to Memphis Law School, and there'll be a hearing soon about it, so we'll kind of definitively know whether he's going to play, but there was some thinking that maybe he shouldn't play. And my thing is this, is you might not win in court, but when you play him... It's because you won my son that happened in 2017 when he was a High school coach? Why is you worrying about that? Him moving a player to Memphis so he could play college ball. Y'all still be worrying about that? He ain't paid a man. He helped his family move to Memphis. He ain't getting him a dime. Y'all putting all this Media attention on him because y'all worry about a coach that was wasn't coaching Memphis at the time. He was coaching his high school team at the time to help him. 
off his high school salary. And y'all worry about why did he move him? That show you, NCAA don't care about these students. They will let you struggle all four years. If you stay all four years, they will let you struggle. They leave you out there hanging. And he plays like that. And he shows that potential. You will win in the court of public opinion because that's where the that's the way the wind is blowing right now with the NCAA and eligibility and amateurism. The court of public opinion voice is so loud that if he is then deemed ineligible to play, and we get to see this young man and understand what a great kid he is, you're gonna lose that battle every time. Correct. And also for a Memphis team under Penny Hardaway in his second year with the squad, is trying to actually build a program to one of the elite ones in the country, you have to show your players that you're going to stick behind them 110%. Yep, yep. And this move demonstrates that more than he could ever speak it. And I think one thing that's important that people may not know is, is Wiseman isn't their only good recruit. They've got five top 100 recruits. Like, they're bringing in a full freshman class. Do you know anything about being on a <laughs> freshman class with a bunch of high recruits? I mean, they've, I'm not going to compare them to the Fat Five, but this is not a James Wiseman one recruit team. They also have one of those recruits by the name of Lester Quinones. Why does he stand out to be in the basketball court? You know, I'm rooting for this young man. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you know, Penny's my guy, so I'm going to try to get him on the show. But I was watching their squad ball, and I was talking about the NCAA and how the rules were so unfair, and I couldn't help but notice those shorts. shorts. I mean, there's so much thigh out there. Oh, you got, I haven't seen that much thigh meat since last Thanksgiving. <laughs> and the music does match. It, it really does. Okay. If you haven't seen it, young people, just Google John Stockton shorts. I know. It's... it's Here's the thing. I swear he missed the layup, like you said, because he couldn't flex. He couldn't stretch out. He couldn't. Here's the thing. You know why Penny Hardaway let him play? Because he's not going to let this kid opportunity slip through his hand because the NCAA trying to hold him out for a situation. It shouldn't be one. The head coach was in the high school at the time, coaching, when he helped him. How else? a top recruit was going to get to Memphis. How y'all going to want somebody to recruit somebody, but y'all try to rule him eligible? If they do win the championship, or if they do win some game and y'all take it from him, but Penny Hardway is not going to let y'all stop him and the kid get an opportunity to live his dream after this year. Because Y'all want to bring us something to happen in 2017. When a coach wasn't even in the college coaching Memphis. He not going to allow y'all to stop a young man get an opportunity to play ball. Something he wanted to do. And that's what Penny Hardy wanted to do with moving there so he got an opportunity to do that. Lester. I know you're trying to be innovative. And Jalen Rose, you're someone who likes to be innovative with fashion. You're famous for wearing black socks that people probably clowned you for. You're famous for the big baggy shorts. Lester, let me go the other way. Maybe Lester is just doing what you did in a different way. We clown Lester now, but maybe everyone's going to wear their shorts like this in the future. No, they won't. No, they will not. Because once you fall down... The cameras are going to be shooting all up under your shorts. <laughs> I'm, I'm very familiar with Lester's thigh meat at this point. I was going to say this. Is, we're going to continue to track this as the season goes on. You know Lester saw us talking about him yesterday. You know he did. Do you think in his head he will ever just kind of let him go a little longer? Here, Lester, here's how you shed us up. 30. That's all you got to do. 30. That's what you do for your curries. We love you. We're rooting for Penny. We're rooting for Wiseman. It is all love. We got to get him on uh, the show as well. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something I'll regret. He scores 30. I'll wear some short shorts. Just, there we go. Uh, on yeah. the show. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Lester. 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 I need you, you to score 30. 30, Lester. You score 30. Give me 30, I'll wear some Lester. short shorts. You score 30, Lester. I will wear some short shorts. On Wait. the show. Yeah, just for like a, just for like the end of a segment. I ain't gonna do it for the whole show. No, for the whole show. I'll, I'll I'll said, I didn't shake anybody's hand. I said the terms. I said the terms. I'll see a handshake. This is being recorded. I said the terms. 
For just a, like a short 10 second thing for at the end segment. of it. No, for, for a segment. One for, segment. For, for sure, for, for, for a segment. For a segment. For a segment. Segments are usually segment. like five to 10 You know what, Les, I'm rooting for you. My guy, I'm, I'm rooting well, for we, you. Of course we are. We're giving him what? one. He's on the show every day. And we root for him. Everybody's talking about Wiseman. We just covered his short shorts. We're going to cover Wiseman. We're the only people the number one pick. talking about him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the...